Ladies and gentlemen, it is official. Lava has finally reached the Puna geothermal plant on the Big Island. This is the latest video footage just minutes ago. You can see right now how much devastation this lava has already caused around the plant. I'm going to show you this also. This is the map showing the flow expansion, the hot zones around the PGV facility. And this podcast is brought to you in part by virtualshield.com. Ladies and gentlemen, virtualshield.com is the ultimate secure network to keep your information safe and anonymous from big data spies. Keep your information safe and your family's information safe for less than $5 a month. Check it out, virtualshield.com slash leakproject. Get it for free for the first 30 days. There's a 20% discount being offered right now for Leak Project listeners. VirtualShield.com slash Leak Project. Okay, now let's go back to the map. You can see right here, Kilauea Volcano, East Rift Zone. This was updated today. Look at all the surrounding lava next to the PGV facility. Now, the Puna Geothermal Venture uses steam turbine generators with a capacity of 38 megawatts. 38 megawatts. Some reports say that's up to 30% of the power produced for the Big Island. A geothermal energy conversion plant bringing steam and hot liquid up through underground wells. The question is, ladies and gentlemen, what happens if this lava actually breaches the wells, breaches these caps? Will that cause more havoc? Also, if it does continue to release enormous amounts of lava, once it starts reaching the water, let me share this with you. This was from Fox News earlier, just to give you an idea of the lava flow. Six different fissures are spewing 40 to 60 cubic feet of lava every second. The Hawaii National Guard is laying groundwork for a massive evacuation, preparing for the worst. They're setting up major equipment out there and the very large helicopters. There's these two extremely large helicopters that they want to use in case of evacuation. There's been ash that has shot up two miles high into the air. The county's given out masks, toxic gas, 50 structures, several homes have already been destroyed, sulfur dioxide levels are elevated, lava, haze, lays, microscopic particles of glass, ocean water. Oh, goody. So let me show this with you real quick. Let's go here. This is Google Maps, and you can see the plant right here. It's just south of Highway 132. Now, the locals know all this stuff, obviously. And for those of you that have never been to Hawaii or don't know the area, I just want to give you an idea. So this is 132 Lava Tree State Monument. Here's 132 right here. You can see here's the plant. Here's the fissure. So here's 132 right above the plant. So right below the plant and then being flanked to the west, to the east, to the south. And then this is spooky. Field crew reports that the lava flow fed by Fisher 21 continues at a slow advance eastward on the PGV property. If I just shared that with you, there you go. I'm sharing it with you again. It's been a long day, folks. Oh, yeah. And once let's look at the, uh, let's go back to this. This footage right here. This image that you're looking at is literally six minutes old. You can see kind of in the center. Let's zoom in on this. Oh, what's that? Hmm. That to me looks like the plant and the lava flow. And also, if you go to time, once again, go to time.com. Lava from Hawaii's Kilauea Volcano has reached a geothermal power plant. Now, when this was written about an hour ago, 
The information they obtained was from previous to that. And when that was reached, ladies and gentlemen, check this out. It's almost as hot in the garage here. Almost. It's like 100 degrees in here. But anyway, the lava breached the property overnight was within 200 yards of the nearest well, said David Mace. Now, he's a spokesman for the Federal Emergency Management Agency. When they asked him about the safety hazards, he replies, I think it's safe to say authorities have been concerned about the flow of lava onto the plant since the property, uh, onto the plant property since the eruption started. (laughs) Then a plant spokesman, Mike Kalikini, I apologize if I said his name wrong. I was just gonna, we'll just call him Mike K, told the news agency Hawaii News Now that the lava was as close as 150 feet from the wells. <laughs> wow. Well, I wonder what kind of materials are needed to prevent lava from eating a giant hole into this well. And these wells, don't these wells go thousands of feet deep? It would be interesting to see what would happen. Let's hope it doesn't happen. Or will it happen? What will the implications be as far as tsunamis? Now, the earthquakes, earlier today I shared with you earthquakes, over 3,000 earthquakes the past 30 days on the Big Island. Hello. That's what they're telling us about. That's what's being reported. Now, if I lived on the Big Island, if I grew up out there, I wouldn't want to leave. Although, I would be smart enough to know when it was time to at least go to a different part of the island. Now, reading reports that only 50 structures, 50 is a lot, but I, you know, at least that's the amount. And it's not 500, I should say. At least it's not 500, 1,000 structures and houses question is, how much damage can this actually do? I think that's what everybody's asking. And now, if there's people on the inside that know certain situations and and levels of damage, maybe they're told not to talk about it. You know, you've heard the chatter about that, but I don't have any confirmation on that. So just wanted to share share this with you. Maybe I'll get an air conditioner this year for the garage. I finally got the air conditioning fixed in the van. It's been two years since I've had air conditioning in the van, so that's finally fixed. And I'm digressing. Be excellent to each other, be safe, and be the change you want to see. Support our sponsors, too. And freedom. Halo!